Um, I think most everybody knows that we had Bill in place for the last time we went to the Olympics until the world kind of blew up. So uh, without further ado, I want to introduce our team's GM through 2026, Bill Guerin. Uh, thanks, Beezer. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, Pat, thanks for your, your opening remarks. And Beezer, I appreciate it. Um, uh, listen, it's always been an honor uh, for me to represent my country, uh, playing for USA Hockey over the years. Um, you know, 1980, I was nine years old, and that had a huge impact on how I saw the game of hockey, uh, the path I wanted to go down and um, how, how deep I bled uh, the red, white, and blue colors. Um, personally, I've been able, been fortunate to participate in World Junior Tournaments, World Cups, Olympics, and uh, every one of those experiences has been absolutely amazing. And I'm, I'm looking forward to doing it uh, on the other side. Um, USA Hockey has come so far in the last oh man, 20, 25 years. Uh, it, it's really absolutely incredible. Uh, the men's teams, the women's team, the sled team. Um, we don't just go to these tournaments to participate. Um, we, we go in to win. And we've got one of the deepest uh, player pools and staff pools in, in, in the world. And those, those are our expectation now. And um, it's, it's, it's actually absolutely incredible to see. Um, I would like to thank... Uh, USA Hockey, Pat Kelleher, John Van Beesbrook, and, and many others at USA Hockey for this opportunity. Um, it is the opportunity of a lifetime, and uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, working with everybody closely. Personally, I'd like to thank Craig Leopold um, and the Minnesota Wild for, uh, for the support and uh, being able to go on this, this journey with USA Hockey. I know Craig and the Wild are, are big USA Hockey supporters. Um, being in the state of hockey, Minnesota, it's, it's very near and dear to our hearts. So uh, thank you to Craig. Um, most of all, I, I'd like to thank uh, my wife, Kara, and, uh, and our children, uh, Kayla, Grace, Liam, and Lexi, um, for their uh, unwavering support uh, uh, for, for me to, to be able to take this on. I know it's, it's a lot more, um, and they're always just... Uh, extremely supportive of, of this. And, um, you know, I think when I first played in the Olympics in Nagano, I think my daughter Kayla was seven months old and we brought her all the way to uh, Japan. So the, the Garen family is all in with USA Hockey. Um, you know, as, as for the team uh, and the staff, our, our depth, like I said, is, you know, our, our, our depth now in USA Hockey is, is second to none. Uh, we have one of the deepest benches in the world. Uh, when it comes to staff and players, and, and I really look forward to putting together uh, the staff, the players, the supporting staff, um, and, and just putting together a, a group that we really feel can win. Um, you know, I, I, I look back on, on my experience at the 96 World Cup, and, um, you know, that was a team that really bonded together, and uh, we had 100% we had buy-in and 100% acceptance of our roles. And we did whatever it took to win, and and that's what I'll be looking for in our in our players and staff. Um, I know there are going to be a lot of questions. Uh, I I don't have answers for you when it comes to staff um, or even players. This is extremely fresh and new right now. But in the coming months, I'll be working with uh, with John and uh, some of the other American GMs uh, to get things figured out. And I, I think that's one of the the great things is that the there's so many bright minds amongst, uh, you know, the GMs that that are that are American, and and I'm going to lean on them heavily. Um, so I, I we will get to that, but I don't have answers on that for you today. Um, so before we get to questions, I just want to hit on a couple things. Uh, I just want to share with you how excited we are here in the, in Minnesota, the state of hockey, to uh, to be hosting the the final game of the rivalry series. Uh, that's going to be Sunday at one o'clock here at the XL's Energy Center. And, you know, our women are, are in a heated battle with their arch rivals right now. And hopefully we can we can close that out and their preparations uh, for the world championships in Utica, New York, which uh, we wish them all the best of luck. 
Uh, also, we're we're really looking forward to be hosting the the World Junior Championships in in uh, 2026. It's just going to be fantastic. The the market is already uh, excited about it, and and we just can't wait to get there. So a lot of good things going on here. And um, again, thank you to everybody. And I'll take your questions now. A couple of questions for you. You mentioned the inspiration for 1980 uh, for you as a, a player and mentioned coming there to win. And not many years where it's USA is traditionally the, the favorite for the gold medal in the Olympics since when they were played um, Olympics for NHL players. But this is such a deep roster that you'll have to pick from here. Where do you, what can you talk about the state of the USA hockey as far as an Olympic team you can build here in terms of being how uh, the greater chances you could have to win with the, the roster you'd have to build? Well, I mean, I, like I said before, I, I think our like our player pool is so deep, and the the thing is that we're we've developed such high end talent, and there's just such high end talent out there um, that that we've never seen before. And it's not just you know three four guys. It's there's there's a ton, and you know there's and they come from all walks of life. You know there there's you, you know there's there's, we have skilled center. We have shut down D. We have, you know, brace of wingers. We have, you know, hundred point guys. We have, you know, good role players. We have, um, there's just so much to choose from. Uh, you know, like Beezer said, we're going to have some real difficult decisions. Um, you know, and there, there'll be some, some disappointment uh, for some players, but then some players, there's going to be opportunity of a lifetime. And, um, yeah, it's just I, I just don't see uh, why why we shouldn't be thinking gold medals, and I, I think USA Hockey has developed into you know a, a, a program where where that's what we do. And um, look, we we have to we have to put our skates on and go out and play the games. But when you just look at it, pure talent wise and depth wise, we're we're in a really good spot. 